A can fill a tank in 10 hours, B in 15 hours and C in 30 hours. A worked full time starting with B on first day and C on second day alternatively. Find the total time required to fill the tank. So basically we know that A can finish a work in 10 hours, B can do it in 15 hours and C in 30 hours. A worked full time starting with B on the first day and C on the second day and this happened alternatively. Which means if you look at the first day, who all were working? A and B. Second day, A and C. Third day, A and B and so on. So A, B, A, C. A, B, A, C. And the cycle continues. Now what is the amount of work that A and B can do in one day? 1 by 10 plus 1 by 15. How much of work can be done by A and C in one day? 1 by 10 plus 1 by 30. Simplify this. Same. This continues again. Right? The cycle continues. 1 by 10 plus 1 by 15. It will be 30 is the LCM. Right? So 3 plus 2. 5 by 30. 5 by 30. Right? Or 1 by 6. 1 by 6. This total is 1 by 6. How about this one? Uh, 30 is LCM. 3 plus 1, 4. 4 by 30. Or 2 by 15. So the point is the amount of work done on the first day is 1 sixth. Amount of work done on the second day is 2 by 15. Again on the third day, 1 sixth. Fourth day, 2 by 15. Again on the fifth day, 1 by 6. And then next, 2 by 15 and so on. This continues. This continues till the entire work gets done. Now understand, how much work will they do in 2 days? Say so this is first day's work. This is second day's work. Again, first, third day's work and fourth day's work. So if you see the uh, amount of work done repeats after every 2 days. Right, so let us first find out how much of work the work is done in two days. Right, so in two days, the amount of work done is one by six plus two by fifteen. What is LCM? Thirty is LCM here. So five times plus this is like fifteen goes to ten. Right? Four times total. Nine by thirty. Nine by thirty is nothing but three by ten. Three by ten. All right. So they can do 3 by 10 in 2 days. They can do 3 by 10 of the work in 2 days. Right? Which means 30% of the work in 2 days. So this gives us some idea about at their, their rate of work. Right? I mean every 2 days they will do 3 by 10. Now try and make this. See this fraction here is very important. This 3 by 10 that we have got here is very important. You have to do days or hours whatever it is. Right? Uh, the fraction is very important. They can do 3 by 10 of the work in 2 hours. Sorry. I should be using R's here. Okay, in 2 hours, they can do 3 tenths of the work. So, 30% of the work is done in 2 hours. Now, you have to kind of multiply this fraction or increase this fraction in such a way that you try and come as close as possible to 1. Like 3 by 10 can become 1 if it is 10 by 10. But can we multiply something with 3 so that it becomes 10? No. So, try to bring it as close as possible to 10 by 10. See, 3 by 10, right? Try to make it as close as possible to 10 by 10. What can be done? Multiply by 3. Multiply by 3. What happens? If you multiply the whole equation by 3, 2 hours into 3, 6 hours. How much of work is done? 3 by 10 into 3, 9 by 10. Which means 90% of the work, 9 tenth, 90% of the work is done in 6 hours. 90% of the work is done in 6 hours. You're able to follow. 9, 9 by 10 is done. What is remaining? Only one tenth is remaining. Yes or no? One tenth is remaining. Now the question is, who will do this one tenth of the work? Who is going to do this one tenth of the work? This one tenth of the work will be done by... See, after six hours comes the seventh hour. Fifth hour, then we have sixth hour and the seventh hour. So A, B, A, C and you know every odd hour is A, B. Right? All the odd hours are... A, B are involved. All the even hours, A and C are involved. So in the seventh hour, again A and B will come into picture. You know that A and B together can do one sixth of the work in one hour. They can do one sixth of the work in one hour. Right? If you look at A and B's capacity together, they can do one by sixth of the work in how many hours? One hour. But how much of the work is pending? Only one tenth is pending. So how much time will they take to do one tenth of the work? How much time will they take? This will be equal to 1 by 10 into 1 by 1 by 6 which is equal to 6 by 10. Yes or no? They can do uh, 1 tenth of the work in 6 by 10 hours or 0. 0.6 hours. 0. 0.6 hours. 0. 0.6 hours is equal to what? 0. 0.6 hours. 
which is equal to 36 minutes. You know that 0.6 of R is 36 minutes. So 36 minutes. So the point is this 9 tenth of the work was done in 6 hours and remaining 1 tenth of the work was done in 36 minutes. So what is the total time required? 6 hours plus 36 minutes. 6 hours and 36 minutes. So how much time is required to fill the tank? 6 hours 36 minutes. Okay. 6 hours and 36 minutes. Options are not there, but that's the answer. 6 hours and 36 minutes. 